So steps to design analog Chebyshev filter. So for the given specification, see here analog Chebyshev filter, how will be the response? Here the response of Chebyshev filter will be different for n odd and n even, okay? For n odd, the Chebyshev filter response will start from one ma. At omega is equal to zero, it starts from one. For n even, the Chebyshev filter's response will start from one by root of one plus epsilon square, okay? So number of maxima and minima here will be odd for n odd and number of maxima and minima here, you count it one, two, three, four, five. Okay, n is odd value, no? So we'll be having odd number of values. Here you count it one, two, three, four, even, no? Number of maxima and minima will be even for n is even, okay? Now the remaining specifications are same, alpha p, alpha s, ohm p, ohm s. So if alpha p, alpha s are not given, what else will be given? One by root of one plus epsilon square, one by root of one plus lambda square. Okay, these values are given. Only for n even and n odd, the numerator will change. So what will be the numerator for n even will be uh, one, okay, for n odd should be one by root of one plus epsilon square, okay. So how do you find out numerator? That is, uh, we'll discuss in the steps. So what is our first step? Using given specifications, you have to find out n value. n is equal to, whereas in Butterworth, you have log, no? In Chebyshev, we have cos h inverse. That is the difference. The remaining part of the prob uh, this part of the equation will be same cos h inverse root of 10 power 0 0.1 alpha s minus 1 by 10 power 0 0.1 alpha p minus 1 by cos h inverse of ohm s by ohm p. Okay. Whereas for Butterworth, you have log. For Chebyshev, we'll be having cos h inverse. Now, so for example, 1 by root of 1 plus epsilon square, 1 by root of 1 plus lambda square values are given. In that case, what is the formula for n? n will be cos h inverse lambda by epsilon cos h inverse ohm s by ohm p, okay? So after finding n value, what is next step? It should be rounded to next integer, next higher integer value. Then we know that Chebyshev filter poles will be on a ellipse, okay? So since we are taking a um, stable Chebyshev filter, the poles will be left side of ellipse, okay? So what is our first step is to find out the major, minor axis and major axis. So what are the formulas to find out minor axis and major axis? A is minor axis, B is the major axis. So it is ohm p into mu power one by n minus mu power minus one by n by two plus uh, that is equal, B is equal to, this is the major axis, B is equal to ohm p into mu power one by n plus mu power minus one by n by two. Okay, now what is the mu formula? So it is epsilon power minus one plus root of epsilon power minus two plus one. Okay. And where, what is epsilon? If alpha phi is given, epsilon is given as root of 10 power 0 0.1 alpha p minus one. Okay. You should remember all these formulas. Okay. Then here we are uh, designing directly the Chebyshev filter with a given cutoff frequency. Sometimes if you want to design the Chebyshev filter, normalized Chebyshev filter, then ohm p is equal to what? One radian per second, okay? Otherwise, you have to take ohm p is equal to whatever given in the problem. Next, what is our next step is to find out the poles. How do you find out the poles for Chebyshev filter? SK is equal to A cos phi k plus JB sin phi k. This is the formula to find out the poles. What is phi k? Phi k formula will be same for Chebyshev and Butterworth filter. Phi k is equal to pi by two plus two k minus one pi by two n, where k value is one to n. After finding the poles, find out the denominator. Denominator is given as D of S is equal to, what is that? The product of S minus SK, where K value is varying from one to N. So that is S minus S1 into S minus S2 into S minus S3 like that till N, okay. Then how do you find out the numerator? That is the important step in the Chebyshev filter. To find out the numerator here, for n odd here, see ma, for n odd, what you have to do? Substitute s is equal to zero in the denominator. Find the what is the value you get. That is the value is the numerator. That value is nothing but the numerator, okay? For n even, what you have to do? Substitute s is equal to zero in the denominator, 
okay and whatever value you get divide that by root of 1 plus epsilon square okay so after dividing it by 1 uh, by root of 1 plus epsilon square whatever value you get that is the numerator okay so this is important step in the chebyshev so if n is odd substitute directly s is equal to 0 in the denominator whatever value you get that is nothing but the numerator okay for n is even substitute s is equal to 0 in the denominator, divide that value by root of 1 plus epsilon square. So whatever value you get, that is nothing but the numerator, okay? Now we see the problem here, okay? So what do you have to do? First, uh, see the what are the specifications are given? Alpha p, alpha s, f p, f s are given. These are the four specifications always given to design any filter map. Since f p, f s are given, find out ohm p ohm s okay just now i told now how do you find out ohm p 2 pi f p ohm s is nothing but 2 pi f s okay so since alpha p alpha s are given how do you, which is the formula we use we use this formula cos h inverse 10 power 0 0.1 alpha s minus 1 by 10 power 0 0.1 alpha p minus 1 divided by cos h inverse ohm s by ohm p this is the formula we got n is equal to 1.91 so what is n value? n is equal to 2. Okay. What is our next step? Find out the minor axis and major axis. To find out minor axis and major axis, first we have to find out epsilon. Epsilon is given as 10 power 0 0.1 alpha p minus 1 whole power 0 0.5. And find out mu. Mu is equal to epsilon power minus 1 plus root of 1 plus epsilon power minus 2. Okay. Then find out A value, that is the minor axis value. So ohm p into mu power 1 by n minus mu power minus 1 by n by 2. And minor axis ohm p into mu power 1 by n plus here. Here it is minus, here it is plus. Plus mu power one, minus 1 by n by 2. Okay. Find out A and B, that is minor axis and major axis. After finding major axis, minor axis, find out the poles. How do you find out poles? SK is equal to A cos phi k plus JB sin phi k. And phi k formula, we told no, this is the formula same for Jebishu and Butterworth. So it is pi by 2 plus 2k minus 1 pi by 2n, where k value is 1, 2, n. n is 2 here, no? 1, comma 2. Then find out S1 and S2. See here, S1 and S2 here. Okay. And um, and find out the denominator that is uh, s s in s minus s1 into s minus s2 and these two are complex conjugate no students here you see these two are complex conjugate so we will be combining this s uh, that is s minus a into s minus b form that is s s, s square plus uh, minus uh, s sorry s square minus b square no here j term is there j square is minus no minus minus so you get plus so you get denominator here. Okay. Now you know that what is n? n is even. No. Since n is even, how do you find out numerator? n of s. Numerator can be found by substituting s is equal to 0 in the denominator divided by 1 plus epsilon square. Okay. This you have to do. So you get this is the numerator value. Now write h of s. h of s is equal to n of s by d of s. Numerator, we got this one divided by d of s. d of s is this one. Okay. So you get what is that transfer function of Chebyshev filter. Okay. Now see this, the specifications here. It is 1 by root of 2 less than or equal to h of j omega less than or equal to 1, where ohm value is 0 to 2. Okay. H of S is less than 0 0.1, where ohm is greater than or equal to 4. Now from this, so you know that Chebyshev filter value, maximum value is 1. This is the passband attenuation. It is 1 by root 2 is the passband attenuation. And 2 is nothing but passband frequency. And here 4 is nothing but stop band frequency. And 0 0.1 is nothing but stop band attenuation. Okay. Now here, what are the values are given? See this figure. From this, 1 by root of 1 plus epsilon square value is nothing but 1 by root 2. 1 by root of 1 plus lambda square value is nothing but 0 0.1. No. So from this, find out what is epsilon and what is lambda. And ohm p is given as 2, ohm s is given as 4. Now what is the formula we have to use? n is equal to cos h inverse lambda by epsilon cos h inverse ohm s by ohm p. Now from this, we got n is equal to 2.269. 
round it to next next higher integer value so n is equal to 3 now find out using this equation so epsilon we already found you no know? so mu is equal to epsilon inverse plus root of 1 plus epsilon power minus 2 using this find out what is a minor axis and major axis a is minor axis b is major axis using these two equations okay after finding minor axis and major axis find out the poles okay using these two equations we'll be finding the poles because it is um uh, see here again the poles you got like this okay find out the denominator d of s is equal to s into s minus 1 into s minus 2 into s minus 3 okay here these two are complex conjugate no combine these two this we will be writing separately like that only this can be written as s minus s2 so s minus of minus plus no s plus 0 0.596 okay like that now since n is odd what is the numerator ma since n is odd numerator will be substitute s is equal to 0 in the denominator if you substitute s is equal to 0 we will be having 0 0.596 here in the first term 3.354 in the second term this two if you multiply numerator you will be getting it as 2 okay now write h of s h of s is equal to 2 by numerator value is 2 no 2 by the denominator value is this thing 